So setting up the site-to-site connection between the two networks is going to be pretty simple. I'm in the virtual network one. I go into the gateway. And if I go under settings and under connections, I can actually connect the two gateways together. So I can click the add button. I do have to give it a name. I'm going to name it something simple like VNet1 to VNet2, just to signify these two networks are connected. It's already selected the gateway one and I have to select gateway two. So it does require a what's called a shared key. This is just a a word or a letter, some letters and numbers that would be used if you were going to have a device on your own network um, to connect to a gateway, then they would use this sort of password. So it doesn't really matter what you put in here. Um, I'm going to basically accept the default. So the uh, protocol used by the default, it's all going to go into the, the same resource group. And I click OK, and then basically it's going to create the connection between the two networks. It's actually pretty quick. And so if I hit the refresh here, I'm going to be able to see that. It's now still starting up because the status says unknown. But we can see that uh, VNet1 and VNet2 have connected uh, using this gateway connection. Without the gateway connection, we wouldn't be able to do this. Now, this is, there is a cost to this. So each gateway is costing apparently approximately 19 cents an hour. And, uh, but the data transfer inbound is free. The, you still have to pay for the data transfer outbound. And so in the Eastern United States, it's about three cents per gigabyte. Uh, and you go into different zones, it'll be different prices. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So basically the virtual network connection is basically gonna be one of the ways that you can have two devices on two different networks talking together.